14 weather. Had a few isolated downpours around today, but those are now long gone and we see no additional rain here in central Alabama on radar, but there are a couple of little isolated showers over east Alabama, one close to Mount Chiha and then another over the northern part of Cleburne County. So the radar fairly quiet for the rest of tonight. Tomorrow don't expect any rain at all. Tuesday and Wednesday, it's a low chance of some showers and then we're back on the dry side of the board come Thursday. So total rain this week is going to vary a lot from place to place. A few showers possible Tuesday, Wednesday, and you get a pattern that looks something like this. A spot or two here and there measuring maybe up to a half inch of rain, similar to what happened today. But a wetter pattern develops from Friday into the weekend and we still get uneven rainfall even there, but there will be a stripe maybe 50 or so miles wide across the state where there is some healthy rain over the weekend as a slow moving, very weak system sets up shop over the southeastern part of the country. So for tonight into tomorrow, we go from the 70s into the 60s and then end up around 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon. I think our high could be 91, 92 in a few communities, mainly southwest of the Birmingham area. Out in the Atlantic, Hurricane Lee was a Category 5 back on Friday. Well, it's back up to a Category 3 after running into some wind shear over the past 24 hours. In fact, look at the explosion of thunderstorms right here around the uh, central eye wall. Uh, these thunderstorms are likely to continue developing and intensifying over the next 24 hours, and it likely becomes a Category 4 or maybe even briefly a 5 again before making a turn toward the north. And what happens out here by Friday, notice it's still well off the east coast, is a bit of a mystery, but we're getting closer to that solution where a potential for a landfalling tropical cyclone, whether it be a hurricane or tropical storm at that point, is pretty likely over southern Canada, but you can see all those lines right there. Uh, there's some disagreement among our forecast guidance into exactly where this makes landfall. So Maine, Massachusetts, not completely off the table, but there's one thing for sure. It's certainly not going to impact the Gulf of Mexico this go around. We get this weak system in with a passing front Tuesday into Wednesday. Small chance of a shower or storm. Two days in the 90s, then temperatures start backing downward into the 80s for highs, 60s for lows going into the weekend. Carrie. Jason would welcome.